tension on Uganda Rwanda border posts of Chanika in Kisoro, Katuna in Kabale, and Mirama Hills in Intungam brought business there to a standstill as trucks loaded with goods from Uganda and Rwanda were denied permission to cross. Initially, the Rwanda National Revenue Authority issued a statement informing the business community that road rehabilitation works were underway on the Rwanda side of Katuna border and advised motorists to use other border posts. But the news changed rapidly when it became clear that Chanika and Mirama Hills were also affected. They are not permitting vehicles and people to move into Rwanda or from Uganda, into Rwanda or from Rwanda to Uganda. This afternoon, the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, tasked the Prime Minister to address Parliament on the standoff at the border crossing point. But these are now non-tariff barriers. I don't know who will be the lead. Is this immigration, East Africa? Honorable Kanya, do you? The Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ndugusa Mukutesa, is on top of this situation on behalf of government, uh, has uh, contacted the responsible people, both locally and in the region. The closure has not only affected the business community, but also the livelihoods of the two communities that live on either sides of the border. These children who study in Uganda, they travel every day to come and study in the Uganda schools and go back in the evening. Even those ones were prevented, they prevented their own people. In a recent interview with President Paul Kagame, tried to allay fears of tensions between Uganda and Rwanda, insisting that there was free movement across East Africa. They want to go about their businesses, they want to do trade, they want to visit each other, they have families crossing borders, and uh, in the end, if you stand in their way, and say, no, no, you don't read need to talk to your sister or your brother, you have to go through me. <laughs> and I decide when you talk to them and when you don't. It becomes a mess. Members of parliament also expressed their views on the closure of borders. They are losing the jobs in Rwanda. Slowly, slowly, they say, ah, your contract is over, just abruptly like that. I think there is a need for parliament of Uganda we are looking into this matter. It's a high time, and we, are, uh, we urge our, our principals, that is the, the president and the ministers of foreign affairs, to, to engage each, each other and ensure that there is no mercy in our borders. As officials from Uganda and Rwanda governments engage to resolve the problem, it's not clear how long the standoff.